To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon and download our app OneFin to start learning on the go. Hello friends, welcome to Tally Prime with the banking section. In this section, we are going to discuss about totally of four topics and they are checkbook configuration, banking transaction types and post data checks and also bank reconciliation. If you wanted to maintain a perfect and easy bank reconciliation, first of all, you have to maintain a proper book of accounts in banking. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to manage checkbooks in Tally application. Yes, it is mandatory to manage checkbooks in Tally application. If you do not configure your checkbook ranges in Tally application, Tally application allows you to pass a duplicate checks. It means the same check can be issued to multiple members. But practically, it is not allowed to issue a same number to multiple persons, right? So if you once enable a checkbook configuration in Tally application, Tally tracks the check number whether it is available or used, right? So by default, now I'll just show you what happens if you do not enable checkbooks in Tally application. So I'll be creating a bank ledger first of all with some opening balance. So I'll just show you an example. Just go to from Tally main page, just go to a gateway, then a create ledgers. And here I'll be creating a State Bank of India as a dummy ledger. Then I'll be selecting the under group as bank accounts. And when I'm creating a bank account, system always questions you about the bank uh, details. And here I'll be adding some information. And here the system is giving a chance to set and alter range for checkbooks. And the people who do not know about this topic, they used to save the screen directly. And they simply save a bank ledger without any other extra configuration. So in that case, if you want to go to vouchers, then I'll just open payment voucher. In the payment voucher, I'll be selecting a State Bank of India and I'll be entering some values. I'll, place, I'll be creating a rent ledger comes under indirect expenses. And I didn't enter any opening balance while I'm creating bank ledger, so no problem. It goes to negative balance, but there's nothing to worry. I'll just show you, just focus only on the topic of checkbook configuration. And here I'll be adding a rupees of 50,000. So just assume that you are issuing a check for rent which worth of 50,000. Just press enter. And here the system is asking you to configure the check number. I'll be adding the check number as 100101, a six digit check. So the 100101 is a check number which is value to 50,000 and given for issued for rent, right? I'll be saving the same voucher. Then next immediately I'll be passing some other vouchers with for salaries. Salaries comes under indirect expenses. And here I'll be taking around rupees 70,000 for salaries. And this term I'll be adding the check number as 100102, the immediate one. And again, I'll be selecting same State Bank of India to issue for under payment of electricity bill. So while I'm making payment for electricity bill, wantedly I'm putting the number as 100101 the check number which is already issued for rent for rupees of 50,000. But here system is not reminding me and system is simply accepted without reminding that the check is already used. The check is currently not available, but the system is not reminding me. So there is a chance to commence mistakes in tally application if you do not configure checkbook configuration. So if you pass the vouchers like this in the future, whenever you go for banking and again bank reconciliation, it will be very difficult to complete your bank reconciliation as you have passed duplicate checks with multiple uh, transactions, right? So it is hard to complete your bank reconciliation in time, right? So in order to fix that issue, to make it easy, we are going to enable checkbooks. So I'll be creating one more new bank ledger. So just go to create ledger. Here this time I'll be creating an access bank ledger comes under bank accounts. And just come down just update your bank details as well and here while i'm creating access bank ledger i would like to confirm the check ranges so yes and here i'll be adding the check ranges from 600601 to 600625 no i'll be adding a two number as well 600625 the total check leaves available in this check range is a 25 and here you can add that multi-purpose checkbook, multi-city checkbook, corporate checkbook, the checkbook name that is available on the checkbook. If you're not able to find out the checkbook name, you also can just keep it blank. Nothing will happen. 
this acts up the same and while i am saving that axis bank ledger i'll be adding some opening balance so that we can pass a real time payments so i'll be adding rupees 1 lakh as opening balance control a save now i try to pass the vouchers in same company i'll just go to vouchers payment i'll be selecting axis bank and here i'll be selecting electricity bill for example you are issuing a check for rupees 1000 for electricity bill so as you already configured checkbook ranges for this axis bank if you want just come down you can see that automatically your check range has been selected with a check number 600601 and just accept the same next i'll be passing one more payment voucher for example we are making payment to maheshwari logistics or even okay uh, mahanagar as we in the previous which we already purchased or canon printers from the party right so we are making some payment of rupees of 500 so this time you can see that automatically system has taken the, the immediate check number that is 600602 is occupied this accept the same so what if for example sometimes as a human beings will make some mistakes so sometimes whenever we are writing any checks maybe instead of writing one we have written 120 or instead of making a correct signature we have done some mistake in the signature so in that i don't want to send the check to a bank or if i wanted to uh, cancel any check if i made any mistake when i'm writing the check if i wanted to cancel the check or if i wanted to skip the check number so how do you do that for example i'll be issuing a check number 600605 actually i have issued only uh, two or three checks right so i'll just just come down enter 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 select here on account just accept you can see that 600601 issued 600602 issued and here now the system is taking 600603 but i wanted to issue 600604 because when i am writing the check of 600603 it was damaged so i cannot use that so i'll be using the next check number 600604 as immediate check so if i once configure the check number manually automatically system continues selecting plus one check from the check range so i have not used 600603 so if you wanted to skip any check number you don't skip the check number as simple you have to pass the voucher and you have to cancel the voucher number if you do not record any uh, voucher by using 600603 and if you are simply skipping the number if you are going for next digit see here in the future whenever you go for banking reports if you want to go for banking and check register you can see that the still check number 600603 is available but really it is not available it is damaged so in that case instead of uh, skipping a simple check number just go to vouchers and uh, just record access bank and select just all plus c i'll be creating a suspense account it comes under suspense account always suspense account always comes under suspense account access the same i'll be adding rupees just one and just record 600603 which i wanted to cancel so just record the number which you want to cancel just save the voucher with the dummy values and again recall the last saved voucher by pressing page up then press alt plus x to cancel so that the check number will not be available further yes so now if you want to go to banking and open check register here you can see that access bank is going to display that 600603 is a cancelled check so this is how it will help you to maintain a proper banking in tally prime application so in the future whenever you apply for a new checkbook again whenever the new checkbook has been delivered first of all you need to update the new checkbook ranges in tally prime application so in order to update your bank ledger from gateway of tally just go to alter and select ledger and select your respective banking ledger and just come down just come to set slash alter range for checkbooks yes and here you can reconfigure the second line okay this time you have got the uh, check in the between range of 800801 to 800825 so here we will be having a 25 checklist so the same thing is that 800825 will be available after and once configuring the same in the future after configuring if you want to go to voters and while making any payments while making any payments after selecting the same can see that system displays the both check ranges as the checks are available in the both check ranges 
So if you are issuing a check from first range, select first range. If you are issuing a check from second range, select check range. For example, in the first check, if all the checks are issued, then system will not display the 600 range. If the checks are available, in that case only system will display both ranges. If the checks are not available in the 6 series range, the system is not going to display a 600 checkbook range here. System will be displaying only one. As the checks are available in 600 range and also 800 range, system is going to display both ranges, right? So this is how we do.